my Taurus babies. What's happening? Yep, I'm back. Get ready to do Taurus December monthly next Tuesday. I believe it's December 1st. So, yes, sir. We're at the end of the month already. Look like we just got here a few days ago, but here we are. Um, I didn't actually look to check tonight. I think we're actually rolling into the new month with most planets going forward. There might be one or two hanging out, but Mars is direct. Mercury is just about, I think it's out of shadow period right now. So everything is kind of doing its thing. Mars is in shadow, I think, until January. Big fat gas giant rolling around in the cosmos, taking a slow time. But things should be feeling better. Uh, right now, actually, the, through the end of this month, November, right on up to Christmas, we are going to be busy. And we are going to be busy on a lot of different fronts, particularly romantically. So those of y'all thinking, hey, me, you baby, that's me for holidays, if you're in America. So, not true. And the twos are telling me all that I need to know right now. Two and two makes four. How about that? So two of wands, two of pentacles, and the four of swords. Um, the four of swords, for you, that energy has been coming up as con contemplation. Um, so you may need to contemplate some things this month. Thinking about maybe you got some decisions to make about what you're doing romantically. Hmm. Uh-huh. Following your intuition, that moon card right there is telling me what I need to know about that. Um, so December is definitely going, going to be an operate on your intuition as much as you can. Um, so you can overcome whatever obstacles you need to overcome. So the two of wands pulls the back end of the queen of cups. Um, I'll get to that in a minute. Two of pentacles. Pulling the Nine of Pentacles. And the Four of Swords is pulling the Three of Wands. Yeah. Y'all are ready for something. It's the spirit, the spirit of adventure. Y'all ain't trying to get with this off him then shit. He is definitely trying to figure out which way in the desert am I getting red goo. That's where you at. So that's your challenge to contemplate spend the month contemplating what, what what's next pretty much what, what the hell is happening so the ten of cups is pulling the three of swords the knight of pentacles is pulling the who ride chariot the front end for a change the moon is pulling the wheel of fortune okay let me get that gets the knight of wands is pulling the emperor The Two of Swords is pulling the Knight of Wands. And the Death card is pulling the Six of Cups. So the signs that are floating up to me right now, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And maybe for some of you, a Virgo or a Capricorn. Um, the overall energy, the front end, the two of wands, with the, the queen of cups. You, you are trying to, with your challenge over there being the four of swords, you're contemplating. And, and your, your challenge for the month is to contemplate. But you're also not being spontaneous because you're, you're in this method, you, in this method, you're in this mode of what's, what's, what's going on? What, what do I need to plan for next year? Rightfully so. I mean, it's the end of the year, so uh, most people, you know, taxes coming, what's going to be going on with kids going to school over here? Are we sending them? Are they going to be doing online? Some of y'all trying to change jobs. Some of you are still trying to make the transition from working in the office to working from home. Um, so all of this planning, progression, progressions, this wands, that's that's there. For some of you, there may be reunions. You may be hooking up with people from your past. Naturally, it's the holidays. But on a different level, romantically, some of you may be hooking up with exes uh, or old 
old old lovers that you really didn't do anything with because the timing wasn't right. However, that's resonating. Um, there's going to be a circle back. So just know that. But don't try not to not be in the moment as much as you can this month. Try in, or in December, try to make shit now. Fuck it. Try to make sure you're in the moment and not so busy and so far off planning that you miss all the good shit going on around you. Um, the the back end of the overall energy with the nine of coin and the two of coin. It's not just about balancing family, work, and play, but it's also about you kind of just finding your own path right now. That's what it feels like. A lot of people um, trying to figure out what, what's going to be the most prudent that word's actually one of the most proven thing to do. What's the most practical thing for you to do at this point? Um, with that it's laying on top of the two of pentacles, it's about balancing that. What is it what does work look like? What does family look like look like? What does your social life look like? And for most of us right now, our social lives are in the toilet, which can't go nowhere, it can't do nothing. But you're looking at all of this. This is all playing. The interplay is all in your overall energy. Some of it could feel kind of heavy with that Nine of Pentacles or Two of Pentacles. Um, but there's some emotional shit going on, too, with the Queen of Cups. Some of you may have recently been jilted. You may have had an online date and they ghosted you or they didn't show up. Um, or you may have had a date and then they never called you back. However, that's resonating. However, that's resonating with you. Um, that energy is here. So if somebody didn't get back to you about something, and this is the, this Three of Swords on top of the Ten of Cups, some, somebody has not gotten back to you, look at that. Be thankful for it. That's the universe giving you a great big fat gift. You ain't need to go there. <laughs> you don't even need to visit there. In romance in particular, do your best to be present in the present moment, but also do your best to let go of any pre preconceived outcomes. So if you think the boom, the boom, the boom, the boom, the boom is going to happen, I promise you it won't. Um, there may be some facts. You know, you know you're going to have a date, but the details of those, the, all, all of that, it's not there yet. Um, there may be some things for some of you that just need to plan out. However, please know that the universe knows what's going on and do not be afraid to embrace any kind of change as it relates to love relationships. Looking at the chariot on top of the Knight of Pentacles, um, it's coming. It's coming. For some of you, it's coming sooner rather than later. Um, that the chariot is sitting on the Knight of Pentacles um, you may need to slow down a bit in terms of that forward projection I was just talking about. All that planning and progression for the next year and what we're doing for Valentine's Day. You may need to slow that thinking down. Um, if you slow down, you'll see some people are going to literally come up to the, oh, I'm just trying to catch up with you. Yeah, that's how fast you're moving. And that's a good thing. If you, whether it's just the thinking or the planning part and you move away ahead, that's good. But slow down, and you may find out you left a few people in the dirt, and they've been trying to catch up with you. That's all to the good. With the Wheel of Fortune on top of the moon, um, there will be opportunities for you. I think the Seven of Cups came up for the uh, Taurus Weekly for the challenge. And so this is kind of relating back to some of that, actually. Any opportunities that need to be seized. Um, this is not the energy to think long and hard about anything. Yes, you should be thinking. Yes, you probably should slow down your thinking. But there are still decisions that have to be made. And they're going to need to be made. It's not going to be one of the things you can put off to, you know, Ann Arbor Day. It ain't happening. It ain't happening. You need to be practical about it. You need to figure out whatever obstacles there are, how you can get around them, and not miss no damn opportunities. Just saying. For some of you, there may be, I've been working on this for a while type energy there, so it may be work-related. However, 
decision making time with the emperor on top of the knight of wands for the second week um again looking for that adventure you may be dealing with an aquarius at some point um and they may give you some advice about what you're thinking about doing they may give you some advice about what action this wands you're thinking about taking listen just listen because the emperor um he, he knows what the hell he's talking about. He may come off a little crazy, but he knows and may have just some psychic insight here into your particular situation. However that resonates with you, that person is going to give you good advice. So you will probably do well to heed it, however that's resonating. With the Two of Swords and the Knight of Wands, um, they're going to be, if it hasn't started for you already, there are going to be people coming in and out of your experience. Some of you may have experienced it already. Some of you, maybe not. With those departures, whether they're at work or in your love life, you, decisions, once again, need to be made. Um, and things are moving swiftly. So if you broke up with somebody two weeks ago, that does not mean you are not going to have a date for Thanksgiving. I'm just saying. Things are moving just that quickly. Um, and for a lot of you, you may be around people that are watching and you, you're not aware of this. They've been watching you. So don't be surprised if you get asked out by somebody that you work with or work around or go to coffee or maybe lunch or do a Saturday or Sunday brunch thing. If, it's, if you're feeling it and your intuition is good with it, by all means, do it. Do it, do it, do it. With the death card at the end of the second week and the Six of Cups, um, once again, we're talking about departures. The death card is talking about permanent departures now. We're talking about endings um, and sudden change. So there may be an unexpected breakup. There may have already been an unexpected breakup. Um, on the other side of that, there may be endings from another end, which will open the door for you to have a beginning. So if you've been dating somebody, and they've been separated or whatever, and they're just now getting the divorce finalized. This is the same energy. So there are going to be sudden changes. Just because it's sudden does not mean it's not good for you. But that I'm looking at this richness of memory card up here. Um, do your best to keep your emotions in check. Do you, do, you may encounter some, some choppy walk. Shit, let me put it where it is. Do your best to keep your emotions in check and try to maintain some distance um, without getting too overly emotional or too overly emotionally involved in whatever situation it is that you are dealing with. Yeah, you're going to be successful. That's here. That's all here. But... Yeah, okay. So it looks like the second half of the month is going to be about um, acting on whatever emotional renewal or hidden fears you may be dealing with. So looking at the sun card on top of the eight of cups, again, talking about more decisions and, and if I'm going into the third week and still saying this, this is how important the decision-making process is going to be in December. Um, whatever you decide, Taurus, do what's best for you in the long term. That's how I, the only way I know how to put that. Uh, with the world card and the moon card. Yeah, use your intuition. There may be travel in the cards for some of you. That might be as close as this week for Thanksgiving. For others of you, it may be around Christmas. For others of you yet still, maybe around April. Uh, but this is signifying the ending of a chapter and the beginning of a brand new chapter. So whatever cycle we're in, you should feel at full tilt by the time we get right just about up on Christmas. 
Um, again, follow your intuition. Listen to that inside voice. With the five of coin on top of the five of rods, obviously those fives are talking about change. You may have some conflict, maybe inner conflict, um, about what you're doing. Sitting on the wands, you may just be doing stuff and, you know, the inside voice, what the hell do you do that for? And outside voice, you do shut up. Um, don't feel like, and I don't feel like many of you are going to feel like this bigger thing, don't worry. But don't get, you know, so bogged down in it that you start feeling like some shit's just not going to work. It is. It is. By virtue of the fact that the five coins is in that damn window, I promise you, all will be well. But these double fives are indicative of the, the change. And some of you are going to be making some big changes rather quickly. So you're not, again, decision-making time is here. You done had all year to, in quarantine to stop and think and write and journal and do whatever. Now it's time to do. Uh, and the universe is going to see to it that you do it whether you want to do it or not. So do your best to be open to change. The last week, whew, looking at that judgment card on top of that seven of pentacles, you may be fearful about creating something. Like I said, things going on in this little period right here, whatever decisions you're making, they're long lasting. So we're talking about creating value, creating, having a relationship, getting married, getting engaged. You're creating lasting things that are lasting. The, a value that have meaning to you. This is long-term shit. Um, and so then, for some of you, you may literally be moving, but this is about the desire to live in a new dimension, a realm, okay, new city, new town, new burb, whatever. But it's coming. This is major energy. So there may be some decisions that are made here towards the end of the month that seal the deal. Um, again, judgment and decisions, all about that decision making. With the four of wands on top of the nine of pentacles, celebration, y'all. And this is telling us that you will be successful in whatever you put in your hand to this month. Um, so there may be some accolades coming towards the end of the month about what a good job you've done, da 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 da. With the food card and the knight of swords, once again, talking about unforeseen events. Um, this is not bad. This is not bad. As long as you are thoughtful and not thoughtless, and you're not doing anything wild and crazy, all should be well on that front. Um, for a lot of you, it feels like you're going to make a step up in your dating situation. So if you are currently not dating, I'm saying by the end of December, if you want to be dating, you can be. If you have been in an on and off type situation, that is going to end now that part so uh the question may be put to you some of you may be pursuing other you you might be pursuing other people because this person may have shut you down and did some stupid shit and you just walked away and fluffed your tail up farted and kept moving this person is coming back um i don't know there'll be a cup could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They're coming back and they're going to, for some of you, they're going to make a compelling argument about why whatever happened, happened and why they think they should be with you. I would hold them to it, Taurus. If they're coming back and you think maybe it might be worth it to go one more time, I would hold them to, to the letter of what they're saying. Um, I wouldn't let them get away with anything because if you're going to take your time to, to do a do-over, basically, you need to make it worth your while. I normally don't say that about Taurus, but yeah, this time you, you literally need to put the bull on because this person or persons, however that's resonating, they need to know that you are not playing that part. Um, if you don't set parameters out, now, because again, we're in this energy where things that you do have long lasting effects. You are going to go through this relationship miserable as fuck because they're going to turn around and say, well, you didn't say that when we got together. You didn't say that when we got back together. You didn't say that when we yeah, yeah, that part right there. So just be mindful if somebody is trying to come back into your experience and for whatever uh, reason, they're not... Um, 
willing to do or abide by whatever, let it go. Just let that shit go. Okay. Oh, this shit makes sense to me. Now is not the time to make promises. Let me finish the sentence that I couldn't put on this little last card. Now is not the make. Now is not the time to make promises. You are not going to be interested in keeping le later. I think in the weekly talked about the devil being in the details. Yeah, he's definitely there. So do not jump your ass up towards. Yes, I do. Cause you're gonna be like, I what the hell I should have done. I'm just saying. And it's not going to be, this energy is that energy is not. Let me just project out. If you get married to somebody and you make promises and you end up not wanting to do that, getting out of this marriage is not going to be easy. That part. So just be mindful of what you're doing. You probably would do better to back burner most big decisions if you're unsure. If at all possible to the end of the very end of the year, the beginning of next year. Um... There may be some people pressing you. Again, if this has been a person that cheated on you and they're trying to pressure you to do some shit and you ain't ready, that part right there, do it because you want to. If you don't want to do it, don't do it. Be clear when speaking, especially about your money and especially about your sex. Yes, I said sex. I didn't say six. I said sex. If you got things going on in the bedroom that are making you uncomfortable, whether it be for a health reason or other reason, open your mouth. Because closed mouth don't get fed. So say what you need to say. Be clear uh, and do your best to explain. Some of you may have difficulties explaining stuff to people right now because they're, they're hearing what they want to hear. Be clear when speaking. A, note, a side note on top of all of this, try to keep religion and politics out of your conversations this week at work it's not going to be the conversation you're having is not going to be worth all the grief that will come behind it just just bear that part in mind my bullies i love you i hope y'all have a wonderful week and i'm gonna see you soon bye bye